All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have a lot to talk about today because Days of Our Lives has released their summer preview video. And maybe some of you were expecting that, but I wasn't thinking about it. And all of a sudden they released this uh, summer preview video and the whole thing is 57 seconds at the most. And I can tell you, they packed a lot into this video. So if you don't want any spoilers, I'm not going to consider this spoilers since the show itself released this video as a summer preview. But if you don't want to know about anything that hasn't happened on screen, then this is perhaps not the video for you. But we are going to keep on talking about what's going on in the wonderful world of Salem and today on in between days it's gonna be all about this summer preview video so first of all like I said 57 seconds and this is how much content they managed to sneak in and tease they teased a lot of stuff so we're gonna get uh, right to the top of the list all the way to the bottom there's so much juice in here so the beginning starts off uh you know innocently enough we see gabby and jake kissing now they have gone back to their relationship which is a little bit tricky seeing as kate who wasn't kate let's let's dial that back for a second it was actually Kristen in a kate mask broke up with jake uh so Kristen was pretending to be kate in a mask somehow in Salem nobody notices these things lots of people wearing lots of masks in Salem we won't get too into that because we're just gonna talk about the summer preview video today so Gabby and Jake were kissing we then go to a shot of Eli and Lanny pretty much doing the same um, but right after that shot of Eli and Lanny kind of making out on the couch we get a candle or an oil lamp something that looks like either a candle or an oil lamp or uh, something in between the two a gas lamp falls and starts a fire so we don't know what that's all about we also see a very quick shot of Allie Horton and Trip Johnson uh, the former Trip Dalton now officially Trip Johnson kissing as well so that romance seems like it's going to escalate this summer we also kind of out of nowhere have a little snippet of a conversation between Xander and Gwen at first they're in a bit of a uh, argument in the Horton house and then they end up kissing as well uh, more kissing with Rafe and Ava who are continuing into their relationship much to the despair of Rafe's sister Gabby we also see a shot uh, the next shot we see is Chloe having a dream about kissing Philip, but then the shot right after that is uh, Brady, who is no longer obviously with Kristen, uh, finally more admitting his feelings to Chloe, and that whole scene seems to be him and or Brady and Chloe, uh, or at least Brady wanting to get closer to Chloe, so seems like there may be a whole love triangle there developing we know that philip has feelings for chloe at the moment chloe is kidnapped and in the trunk of a car so we'll have to see how she gets out of all of that but the next shot goes to bell kissing her husband sean that one seems innocent enough but uh how does bell get out of uh right now she is being framed for murder by jam spears and Jan Spears has a couple of hostages, but we won't get too into that. Uh, the next shot we see is Lucas kissing his old flame, Sammy, who is currently married, technically anyway, to EJ, who for the last several years has been off canvas, and as far as we know, um, not even that functional. So we'll see what happens, but wait for it. Lucas is kissing Sammy he says we're magic I want this back and the next scene goes to a knock at the door Sammy then sees the new EJ I'll just say it's just EJ but we're just gonna say the new EJ because it's EJ being portrayed by a new actor aka not James Scott we talked about that a little bit in a previous 
video, EJ Demira knocks on the door and Sammy looks shocked to see him. So he's not the only Demira back in town. Um, as you know, many years ago, EJ was aged many years. So he, it's called sorapsing in the soap world. It's a uh, soap opera rapid aging syndrome so so EJ was rapidly aged and it seems they're gonna do the same to one of his sons now Johnny Demira is back in town but he looks maybe just a little bit younger than Trip and Claire and Sierra and all of them so we'll see what they're doing with this new Johnny Demira character played by a new actor much older back in town um, Ali is the one that uh, sees him coming into the Horton Town Square and she is excited to see her I'm I'm just gonna say brother but Salem is complicated so it's it's half brother if that half brother would be right um, Sierra also arrives back in town a lot of people are waiting for that because the actress who plays Sierra came back for a little while didn't have her memory didn't stay with her uh, forever love Ben and went out of town uh, with her amnesia and with her uh, ex flame Theo so we'll see what happens there because Sierra is coming back once again speaking of coming back once again Eric also comes home and he is now again with Nicole I guess at least for a little while I don't know how long he's supposed to be staying on the show, Greg Vaughn, shown in the promo, the actor who plays Eric Brady. Uh, Nicole, his wife, is now feeling guilty because after Eric was off in the Congo for, I think, over six months, uh, she got fed up with uh, him calling and saying he's actually not going to come back. And she had a one-night stand in the Salem Hotel with Xander Kiriakis Cook. So what's going to happen with that? Uh, we know right now Xander is trying to uh, use that as leverage over her head to first to get, he was trying to get money out of Nicole. Now he just wants her to get a job. But all of us know that. All of us have seen that. This is about the summer preview. You think that would be enough for them to squeeze into six, 57 seconds? How much could they possibly squeeze into a 50 second... 57 second video uh, well it doesn't end there Steve and Kayla are in the Brady pub and Kayla tells Steve you should be sitting down for this one or something to that effect but they don't show what that's all about that's just another teaser um, next we go to Allie and Claire running out of the lake telling Ben and Trip that there's a body in the lake and they look shocked and terrified we then go to a shot of Eli who is a police officer in Salem saying he does not think any of this is by accident we see a shot on camera of a knife we see a shot on camera of smoke and then Ben uh, coming sort of out of that smoke looking shocked and we also see Jan with Chloe at gunpoint so we're gonna that's probably going to unravel uh, early in the summer and some of this stuff is going to unfold probably a little bit later in the summer um, we also see and who knows how this all comes about I can speculate because earlier in the summer preview video we saw Xander and Gwen get into an argument but then they kissed so they're obviously th there's obviously something developing in with those two um, so th at this point in the late in the video we see Xander in the Horton house he has Dr. Snyder who has been uh, kind of uh, manipulating Gwen to, to be a drug mule for him and we all know the reasons why and what he has over her to be able to do that but uh, in this video we see Xander maybe coming to the rescue he's got a headlock or chin lock on Dr. I always want to say Dr. Yes, Dr. Snyder. I almost I always want to see I always want to see I always want to say rather Dr. Rayner. Dr. Rayner is no longer on the show but was nominated for a Emmy Award. You can check out my other video about that. 
Um, and finally, the very last shot coming out of a door. Now this is clever. Coming out of a door with the number 227 on it. Now you may know the significance of 227. That was the show that Jack Kay was on. Well, Jack Kay is now on Days of Our Lives. She came out of a door at the end of the summer preview. And the number on the door was 227. She opens the door and she says, What are you doing here? So we're all going to have to wait and find out. But hopefully you're all excited to find out what happens this summer on Days of Our Lives. And, uh, you know, some, some characters coming back. And uh, a few new ones, technically. Sort of new. Johnny Demira aged. And we're going to wrap things up there this time but just think of all the possibilities happening and uh hopefully we will all find out together in the days and weeks to come stay tuned actually one last thing that i want to add on here one last thing that i want to say is we haven't seen any of victor and maggie in a really long time so hopefully um that may have to do with the their ages and the fact that uh covid is still going on and they're taking every precaution necessary on set um i know they have some i don't i won't go too into that but i know i know they you know practice their scenes kind of like over video for the most part and things like that and uh i just want to say that i hope we get to see uh victor and maggie again once this is all over and done with but we may not be able to see them on screen for uh some time uh we got a li we get a little bit of julie and not much doug and it didn't really occur to me why until now but uh we should all thank the cast for continuing on at this time uh safely and continuing to make sure that uh, days of our lives keeps going and once again congratulations on the two-year extension and we're gonna wrap things up now uh two years two more years of days of our lives to look forward to and that's your summer preview chat see you next time